Welcome to another edition of the Touchdown Club Coaches Show. Coach Masella, Max Rottenegger. Coach, congratulations on the win Friday night in electric atmosphere. Um, what does it feel like a couple days removed from it? Well, I think it's it kind of just a big relief for our players, our coaches. Uh, you know, it was a great win. Our kids played extremely hard, and, and uh, they went out and earned a victory, which was great. And now uh, I think the monkey's kind of off our backs where we can now settle in and, and start to build a program and start to develop athletes and know that they can win football games. And uh, there's a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of positives that came out of the game. How much does this energize, you know, a meeting room, a practice field, um, and everything surrounding the program? Well, I think it makes it a little easier yesterday to go into meetings, and I'm sure it's going to make it a little easier this week to go to practice. Um, you know, it, it's just a different, anytime you win a game, it's a, a different vibe than when you lose a game. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, our, our meetings were, were a lot, uh, there were a lot more smiles on faces yesterday. Uh, and then you can make corrections. I, I think what we were in, you know, I think when you're making, you know, constructive criticism, sometimes I think uh, athletes take that as, as um, you're, you're, you're criticizing without correcting the mistakes. And I think it's a little easy to go into the meeting yesterday and, and say, hey, we still have to get this done. We still have to do this. We still have to clean up these things. And I think that our players, you know, were a little more receptive. So, so uh, it was it was a good day yesterday. Now, everyone who knows you knows that you're a, you're a defense first coach. You're a, you're a defensive guy, even though you've probably coached it all at this point. Um, two pick sixes, um, and your team. There's only two teams in the in, in all of FCS football that has more defensive touchdowns uh, than than your defense. Um, how important was it? For you to, to win this game with that kind of defensive well, effort, well, I, I think I think uh, I I think it, we played very uh, very good complementary football. I think all all three phases did did their job, and certainly in this day and age, anytime you can create turnovers and turn those turnovers into points, whether it's the offense turning them into points or the defense outright uh, turning them into points. You know, it's a huge lift, and and uh, at the, those those in a pick sixes, both of them were in critical spots in, in, in the game. You know, one was uh, you know uh, LIU was driving in the first half to take possibly the lead. You know, now it turns around, we get an eight point lead again, and then later on, you know, they're driving again. I think we were up two scores at the time. Uh, it kind of sealed the game. So um, you know, they're both big, big, big plays by Colby and. And uh, Trey Villar and, and Junior Wiley, and, and uh, you know they were just huge plays in the game. So anytime you create a turnover, it's big. Anytime you create a turnover and score on it, it's even better. You know, so uh, so certainly those were two big plays. So Junior Wiley, the NEC Defensive Player of the Week, um, a captain in his first season um, here, and 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 really coming into into his own and, and becoming a huge playmaker also had a sack along with that pick six so uh, how much can you say about his his performance I, I thought that was his best game I, I thought uh, Friday night was his depth best game I, we, we, we're kind of moving him around out of necessity right now but uh, he works at it so hard he's such a student of the game and, and cares so much and to see him play the way he played, I, I just thought it was uh, it was great for him, but it was great for us also. Now, offensively, um, on this show, on all sorts of interviews, every time you're asked, what is it going to take to win a game, you say, I want to run the football. I want us to run the football more efficiently. So now you have two consecutive weeks with two rushing touchdowns, um, eclipsed 100 yards on the ground for the first time. Um, how happy are you offensively? Well, where the passing game existed earlier in the season, but it feels like the running game is coming along well, well too. Now. I, I think uh, I think our O line's a little more com you know confident, a little more comfortable with each other. Uh, we've had a lot of moving pieces in there. I think uh, Brady Anderson, as a freshman center, uh, played played well along with uh, Terrell State, and before he got hurt, was having a heck of a game. So I, I think that's great. And then you have Ricky uh, Spruill and, and uh, Zach Palmer-Smith. I thought both those guys ran the ball extremely well. And, you know, in the second half, um, 
you know, that last drive, uh, you know, we ran the ball to get out of trouble a little bit and, and to kind of, you know, bleed the clock. So you got to be able to run the ball. You got to be able to run it efficiently. And, and I thought we, we did that uh, Friday night. Now, kicking game, made four extra points, um, made a field goal. Um, returning wise, your kick return unit is 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 coming along and, and moving the moving the field a little bit better. Um, how pleased were you with with your kicking game? Well, I, I was pleased with um, you know we kicked a field goal. I thought our punt return team uh, they only punted a couple times, but we were solid there. I thought I thought Dylan Hack had a great punt in the fourth quarter, kind of got us out of uh, got us out of jail and, and create flip kind of flipped the field field position wise and our guys covered it. Um, kick return we've been we've been really good all year. Uh, we're just you know we're we're just a, a shoestring tackle away from busting a few. But I thought our kick return team uh, did another nice job. I, the, the team we've struggled with is our kickoff team, and uh, you know we have to clean clear that up. And and they had a couple big returns. Uh, um, Friday night, and, and that's been a problem for us. Sometimes it's where the ball's kicked. Sometimes it's where how we fit it up and, or, or a missed tackle. So, so we got to continue to improve and, 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 and work on fixing the problems on the kickoff team. But our punt team's been solid, um, and Dylan has done a nice job replacing uh, Josh Brown. Uh, our, our punt return team, um, you know, we've had some opportunities to return the ball, but they kind of kicked it away you know the kickers in today with the rugby, it can go all over the place, and certainly it did uh, Friday night. But uh, but our punt team did a nice job, and our kick return team's been good all year. So you know we got to keep building on it and, and get better. You know covering covering kicks. Another week of practice ahead. Um, Central Connecticut, another road game coming up. We're going to talk about the Blue Devils after the break. It's the Touchdown Club Coaches Show on NEC Front Row. At Wagner College, we have this beautiful campus where I get to know my professors and I make great friends. I've gotten really involved in the local community, leading theater programs. At the same time, New York City surrounds us so I can get internships at prestigious organizations, explore cultures from all over the world, and experience just life as a city girl. At Wagner, I learn by doing. It's practical. It's the Wagner plan. Given St. Francis a big lead now at six to one, and here comes Wilcox on the run, one on three, oh, takes whoa, him to the hole. Whoa, Nearly whoa, blocked whoa. by the rim, but he finishes with the whoa. flourish of the middle of the end zone. It's caught, touchdown, Merrimack with an answer, big time throw from Sergi Otis. Angie Raptor caps it off with a 5K victory. Stanley against Bergdorf, spinning. Uh -oh. Welcome back to the show. A familiar opponent, Coach, the Central <laughs> Connecticut Blue Devils. Another homecoming for you. It's like we're uh, we're playing every single team that you've coached at before. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm just I'm just happy we're not playing UMass later on this. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, uh, but you won two championships at Central Connecticut. Um, you know the program very well. Um, what did you see on film, and, and what does it mean to come back up there? Well, I, I think uh, for them, I don't know the program like I used to, but um, you know they have a great deal of pride. Uh, and, and they're going through a tough time this year. Um, so you, you look at their team, it's very similar to our team. I mean, two very similar teams. Uh, both have a great deal of pride. Both want to win. And uh, they, they played extremely hard against Duquesne the other day. Uh, it was 13-6 in the fourth quarter, and, and they turned it over uh, in the end zone, uh, going in for the leading score. And it kind of got away from them after that. But... Um, you know, they, they, they have a lot of playmakers on both sides of the ball, and, and they have athletes that run around, and uh, it's going to be one of those contests, I think, that, that it's going to be hard fought, and teams that don't turn it over and the teams that make, um, you know, make some big plays happen are going to be the team that has the advantage on Saturday. Now, looking at it, it the Duquesne game, uh, the Duquesne Central game was a very close game um, until late, 
And uh, you look at it, all, all teams in the conference have played three or four conference games now, and it looks like every game is pretty close, uh, with the exception of a few. Um, how close is this conference in, in talent-wise? Well, it, it's There's not a great deal of difference. I think St. Francis, and I, I thought St. Francis was a little better than Merrimack, but Merrimack's proven to be a really, really good football team. Um, and that will be interesting when they match up, but... You look at the games, even our Merrimack game was 1917 late in the third quarter, and then it got away from us. And it, I think the, the Central Duquesne game was, was similar for Central on Saturday. It was, you know, it was a one score game late in the game, and then all of a sudden, you know, they, 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 Duquesne makes a few plays and it kind of got away from them. But um, uh, each week, I mean, Stonehill, I, I haven't seen Stonehill on film yet. But they're playing some great football because, uh, you know, what was it, 17, 13 uh, Saturday, and they had a chance to win. So, you know, I, I think it's just uh, the league is the league. Sacred Heart is Sacred Heart. And Duquesne is starting to bounce back now. I don't know if they had injuries earlier. So, uh, you know, the league's pretty competitive, and there's not much separation from the top to the bottom. Now, you look at a couple guys that have been here a while. Um, you know, Titus Leo comes to mind because he's, he's won everything he can win. Um, pretty much off the or in the individual awards now that he's gotten a taste of of victory how hungry are those well, guys I, that have I, been here to 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 keep going and to get more listen he was here through uh, there's a few players that were here through all those losses and certainly they were the happiest people uh, saturday i thought you know or friday night i thought they were um just thrilled uh and and to see them smile and to see them be excited for a win uh, was great to see, and, and certainly, uh, you know, they've gone through some really tough times, and and uh, they've hung in there. And I, like I said uh, Friday night, I'm proud of our kids. Um, just keep getting up off the mat every week and coming out and practicing and and grinding away, and and uh, you know, finally uh, it paid off, and and hopefully we can we can build on what what happened Friday night. And but for the guys who've been here. Through all those losses, I thought, you know, that they, they felt the best, uh, you know, after the game. All right. That's in the past now. We're looking forward to Saturday's game against Central Connecticut. Thank you for tuning in. This was the Touchdown Club Coaches Show on NEC Front Row.